Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back for another OPTC video. And in today's video, we're hopping into co op Kazuna Clash. So I've been at work, so I uh, haven't had really a chance to uh, grind too much, but I have tomorrow off. So, boys in my team, do not stress. The grind will happen. I've got two multis coming later. Um, I've got a mate's birthday, so we're going to do uh, two multis. That's why I haven't farmed up on my coins, too. But please don't stress if you see this video and you're my team. Uh, your boy won't let you down, I promise you that. So, in this video, we have. Uh, three variations for each um, of the opening stages. I have the two teams that I showed in my prep video and then the team that I am using personally with the boosters. So the two teams at the beginning don't use the boosters uh, where the team that I am rocking um, is using the boosters. Now, if you guys have any uh, recommendations of that, slap them in the comment section below. I'm more than welcome to open to opinions and uh, any criticism just to make, uh, make these teams a little bit stronger. So positivity only, but... Um, I have not. Um, I am open to any and all suggestions. So in saying that, guys, let's hop in. Let's check out the teams. All right, guys. So team number one is the Nami Robin team. Now this team functions best with the Marigold Sisters as a friend captain. That way you can get a uh, color affinity. But uh, as you guys saw in my prep video, we have Sober Mask on this team, V2 Jinbei for an attack boost, King to remove the despair in the later stages. And we have Praline with the Aladdin support. So make sure you have the Aladdin support, otherwise you won't get the 2.25 from Jinbei. Uh, you can replace Sober Mask with uh, a Chain Locker or you can replace him with um, a Color Affinity Booster if you don't have the Boa Sisters. But I just like to bring you Sober Mask. He's a free to play unit. He has two times attack buff, so it works really well. In the early stages, you can use King on this stage here to get the delay conditional, just to beat that stage a little bit easier as um, they can be fairly finicky, the Luffy and the Boa unit. The next team against the quick variation is a double kid team. So this team actually does it ridiculously well. And if you don't have the boosters, but you have kid, I would definitely recommend farming it with this team. It does it exceptionally well. We did get a support for this run too, actually cool. So a little Luffy. So you can use kids um, uh, super typing as well as his special on stage two. Uh, and you can use it on stage one to just sort of wave clear, make things a little bit quicker for you. You can also, um, Use the switch ability of Big Mom here if you want to, um, if you need the two kids for whatever reason on the end there. But I would use the kids special and the X Drake special here to lock your orbs. Uh, and that way you get an attack boost and an orb boost just to kill Boa and Luffy a little bit quicker. So against Luffy and Boa, the dual unit now, we are going to use Luchi to remove the threshold and give us color affinity. We've got Nami Robin here for the orb boost as well as removing the paralysis. Kid's gonna give us the attack boost and we get the chain lock with Big Mom. So, does a lot of damage this team and clears it fairly fast. We do have the support of Luchi on, um, sorry, Jabra on Luchi, but isn't really needed.
So the final team for the quick variation is the team that I am using in up until at least level 70. I'll see how it goes after that, but keep an eye out for my 70 plus video when I get to that point, as I'm gonna be doing some serious grinding tomorrow. Um, we have the two boosters on this team. We have Grandma Nyan and Margaret. We have Clash Judge for the two times color affinity. It's great because Judge actually does red as well. So Margaret gets color affinity on this team as well. Uh, Nyan's basically here to remove the threshold as well as give us the chain lock and then we have x drake and kid again for the stage two and then using kid again on the final stage of the attack boost margaret also gives a orb boost which is awesome so this team has heaps and heaps of damage to take out luffy and boa All right, guys, so against the um, strength, no, for the strength variation, well, the dex variation, I should say, um, the first team is the Sabo team. Now, funny enough, we actually get the buggy interrupt, and I realize this team is not that great if you get that buggy interrupt. So if you do get that, make sure you use um, the Moria special when you know you're going to kill buggy and uh, his crew. Bit finicky, but it is what it is. They do give an attack boost of 2.5 times, which is really, really strong. I thought it was a 2.5 times chain lock, but it's a 2.5 times attack. So this team still manages to get it done, even with all of the shenanigans that Buggy brings in. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't recommend it, especially if you have a Snake Man. Just use Snake Man as leader. He's just way better. Just he's such a better unit compared to the Sabo, unfortunately. Um, but we do goofed here, and we still managed to get it done. So on Luffy and Boa now, unfortunately, we did not have the end of turn damage for their resilience. So we couldn't really get around that. So we do have to stall that out and it gets pretty hairy. But um, this team has enough damage and it is still very, very early in Kazuna. So not that big of an issue getting through Luffy and Boa. But basically the team works in the way of uh, Sabo as the leader gives us color affinity. He gives his super typing as well, which gives um, the extra chain multiplier. So this team can put out a lot of damage, but... It's just not exactly reliable. Carrots here to remove the uh, defense up, but make sure that you have a attack booster. So with this team, I actually use a Kainu as the attack booster support on the Luffy unit, but because we got the um, interrupt, we're all fine. So the next team is a double V2 Snake Man team. Now this team does it incredibly well. Again, I would definitely recommend this team over the Sabo team if need be. Um, if you don't have any of the boosters, this team does it incredibly well. Uh, Miguelin is here as a conditional boost and he can remove the resilience. We have Boa to remove the attack down in the later stages. The difference between this and my prep video is I forgot to add um, 
Sabo on this team somewhere for Luffy's super typing. We need Luffy's super typing as we can't use attack boosters. We have Carrot to remove the defense up again. And we have the chain boost and color affinity with Sabo. So this team does a lot of damage and does it really well. As you can use Luffy's special um, on stage two. Uh, but make sure you use Magellan on stage two before stage three. Otherwise you won't get the carryover effect. Now, all of these teams work really, really well with the with the Boa Sisters. So uh, if you find them as a friend, definitely use them. All right, onto the team that I am using to farm it in the early stages. Again, subject to change around level 70 is um, a V2 Snake Man with a friend Boa Sisters with the two boosters, obviously. Now, I have kept uh, Boa on this team as Boa is going to remove the attack down once I hit level 70. So, I feel like I'm probably going to um, I'm gonna need that. But the uh, Boa Sisters can provide a attack boost, a better attack boost, when you move into the final stage with their carryover effect. But again, we get the buggy uh, interrupt here. So that works quite well. Now, I just sort of goofed this run. I wasn't really focusing too much because it is too, it's very early. But when it gets later down the stage, you do want to use the Snake Man special before Margaret special. And um, that way you get a bigger orb boost. Sabo gives a better color affinity, but you can use the uh, Boa Sisters instead for their color affinity, which is a little bit higher. Uh, and then you get color for your full team rather than just your red units. So it's up to you guys which way you want to go about that because the super typing of Luffy is a two times attack boost. So that's still very, very strong. Nyan gives us a chain lock to avoid that chain coefficient reduction. And um, Margaret gives us the, I think it's the paralysis removal we need on this stage. I know I just made videos on this, but like I wasn't really paying attention. Do we get paralysis on this one? Or is that on... Yeah, I'm pretty sure we get paralysis here. Yeah, so... No, we don't get paralyzed. Margaret removes the resilience. That's right. So Margaret's here to remove the resilience as well. So very, very important. We have a way to get around that. But if you don't Margaret that, um, Kazuna, uh, Miguel works really well. All right, guys, so against the side variation now, the first team I had is the Dream Team. The Dream Team is on fire as always. We have Blackbeard and Katakuri. So, so with the Katakuri Blackbeard team, um, we have the Anniversary Frankie on this team to reduce our HP as well as remove the bind at the end. We have Big Mom for a chain lock, color affinity and defense removal with the Kuzan unit, the limited rare recruit Kuzan. Now he is replaceable with someone like Jinbei. Jinbei works really, really well. And then you can bring a color affinity booster instead of Anil, but Anil is here just to sort of uh, give us cooldowns and wave clear. So I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit to the end of this fight.
All right, guys, so now that we're at the end here, we've used Blackbeard special twice. So when we pop it again, it's going to be a four times attack and a four times orb boost. We have the conditional boost with Katakuri. Uh, we have the chain lock with Big Mom. Frankie removes the binds. Just there's so much on this team that's just so, so good. Um, there's plenty of good stuff going on here. And Blackbeard just does monstrous, monstrous damage. We'll clear clear this for a very, very, very long time. So um, we're going we're gonna to leave you at that one, guys, and I'll see you in the next team. All right, guys, so the next team is a Katakuri and Boa Sisters team. So this team works ridiculously well. And if you have these units, this is what I would be looking at. Ain is phenomenal for this piece of content. But if you do use Ain, you have to make sure that you have double special. Now, um, I forgot to change my ship here. I would definitely recommend using something like the Magello ship um, over the Whitebeard ship. But it does help getting the threshold down. We do have Enel on this team to help us get that threshold lower as well. Nami and Robin here. Nami and Robin here to remove the paralysis, but also the block orbs on this gym base stage. If you use their switch ability, you can remove the block orbs, as we need to be in Robin anyway. And then we can use the switch ability with Vivi, uh, Viola, no Viola Becca, to give us orbs. Once we use the Anal Special, we've got locked in orbs, and we can basically just clear gym base and move on. We do have the support of uh, the original Tank Man on Nami and Robin, so we can make that strength orb matching on the Boa Sisters. It just helps out with a little bit of extra damage. We've got Color Affinity with the Santa Sony Sisters. We have uh, Conditional and Attack Boost with Katakuri. Two and a half times orb boost with um, Nami Robin. Removal with Ain and Chain Lock with uh, Viola and Rebecca. So it works really, really well. It does a lot of damage. All right, guys, so the final team for this video is the team that I'm using, and it is basically the Katakuri Sandersonia uh, team. I will probably have to replace this with Blackbeard when I get towards the end, but at the moment, it's just taking a little bit too long, and I'm trying to trying to grind it as fast as possible, and I've got, got work and life with friends, so the faster I can beat this sort of stuff, the better. We have Nami on this team to reduce our HP, but you could probably use Anil still. That'll work fine. Uh, we have the three boosters on this team. The Sandersonia sisters should be used as a... Color Affinity Booster. Margaret here is here for orbs and chain lock with the Grandma Nyon. We have the removal and color affinity with Kuzan as well. So you can run Blackbeard or another category with this team if you're uh, not relying on Boa Sister Friends. So it works, works very, very well. But again, the, um, uh, what's his name? The Kuzan is replaceable with someone like Jinbei, but you will need to remove special silence after stage level 70. So I'll probably be re replacing him with someone like um, Sugo Garp. So if you replace him with Sugo Garp, you get a higher chain lock. Um, so you can replace Nami with Enel. But moving forward, as this gets a little bit harder, I feel like you're probably going to have to bring Blackbeard in somewhere. Uh, but the Boa sisters work really, really well as an extra color affinity. So later down the track, we are going to have to use Garp for the higher chain lock. But... Uh, for the meantime, we have um, Nami here to reduce our HP. We've got uh, Nyon for a chain lock. We've got Margaret for an orb boost. Defense removal with Kuzan. Attack boost and uh, conditional boost with Katakuri, as well as color affinity with the Boa Sisters. 
So there you guys go. They're on my teams for the co-op Kazuna Clash. Let me know how you guys are going in the co-op. Boys on my team, get grinding. We're going to do this. Have some fun. Let's try and hit S rank. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, hit the like button. And if you want to stay up to date with more OBTC content I post, hit the big red subscribe button too. But guys, most importantly, enjoy the rest of your day. I thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Lights!